What's up, YouTube? Kenny here. Another another car video. And today's video is going to be called The Truth About Looks, Money, and Status. The very um, interesting and, I guess, important topic when it comes to dating in our modern modern society. Do women only care about looks, money, and status? Or... Are looks, money, and status the most important things to attracting women? You may know what I'm about to say, but I'm going to get into the uh, conversation anyway. <laughs> so, um, looks, 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 very important. Yes, it's true. Women are turned on by how you look, whether it's your face, your body. Naturally, they're human beings, you know. Um, but if that is all you're holding yourself, your self-worth or your confidence on how you look, then you are going to be, um, sorely disappointed in life when it comes to women, because naturally not all women are going to find you attractive. So <laughs> you could look so good to certain kind of women but then these other women aren't going to find you attractive if they don't find you attractive you're going to feel bad about yourself just because these few women don't find you attractive you know i mean it's just you can't be putting that much worth in stuff that um is so subjective and then on top of that um you 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 get older so the older you get, you're going to be feeling bad about yourself because you're not looking as good. And then that's going to affect your, your confidence and how you interact with women. And therefore, according to you, as you get older, you won't be able to get as many women because you're not as attractive or you don't look as good. You know, so another thing you definitely, you got to be able to control. Your looks is, 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 is more than sure. Like, of course, like I said, looks are important in terms of um, finding the right kind of people or women for you. But let's say a woman finds you attractive. She thinks you're fine. But then you have a terrible personality or she doesn't like your voice. You know, and then she leaves you anyway. <laughs> you know, so... I mean, regardless of how good you may look, you know, she didn't, she wasn't feeling it because, you know, of your personality and your asshole or you come off as insecure. I mean, sure, if a woman is really, 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 really interested in you, she could still pursue you. But most women are not that highly interested in guys just because of their looks. You know, you can't bang on that. And I've heard Lakara say this this example a few times. So you're such a good looking guy that you intimidate women. I know it's hard to believe, you know, from a man's perspective, because you know, a lot of guys nowadays they are very intimidated by women's looks. But they don't imagine that women are intimidated by their looks. But it's possible. A, a woman could think you look so good that she thinks you're a player and you wouldn't ever take her seriously. You just probably pump and dump her. So to avoid that, she completely rejects you. You know, or plays hard to get until you eventually, I mean, yeah, playing hard to get, it's up to you whether you want to play that game. You know, and if you don't, you let her go. And she kind of has a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy because she already felt like you were out of her league and now you just proved it. So, um, obviously looks, they have their place, but you can't hold, you can't stand on looks alone. You just can't. It's just not possible. You know? <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, yeah, looks, looks, like, looks aren't everything. But then you get the money. Ha, <laughs>
money. Money, again, it has its place. It's very important. You know, money does not buy happiness, but being broke doesn't make people happy either. <laughs> you know, so I get it. Money is important. And money, you could take, you know, women out on dates. You could take them on fancy dates. You know, and um, and with that, you get women who will, who will use you for your dates. They'll mark you as a phone as, if, of course, she's not sexually attracted to you and you lead with your money, you're not going to be able, she'll lead you, she'll uh, save you as a phone as free food. <laughs> you know, the guy who she could always go on dates with to get a, a nice meal, but never have to do anything, never have to put out or mess around with the guy, but they're so willing to pay for their food, you know, hey, I mean, I think a lot of people take that, you know, who, who I guess, who really don't have, you know, uh, high self-esteem or confidence, they'll use somebody just for food. Or if you're, you're constantly buying them gifts just because they look good, never really did anything to you, maybe if they've had sex with you, you just buying them gifts just because they've had sex with you once or twice. You know, it's just, you're, you're putting your value, their value all the way up here, putting them all the way up on the pedestal, you know, just because of their looks or just because I had sex with you a couple times. And you're, you're devaluing yourself. You're putting an actual price on them. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and you're the one who's supposed to be getting the value. You're the one who's supposed to be priceless. Um, and yeah, you're putting a price on, on them. What are they worth to you? You know? And, and it's never good. Uh, and ultimately, when you be with money... You attract gold diggers. And we all know the problem with gold diggers. Women who only want you for your money. No confident man will ever want a woman who only wants them to be, who, who only wants them because of their money. And only around for their money. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. Because you like this woman, you think she's so beautiful, sexy, whatever. But she she doesn't think anything like that. She just sees basic, she sees dollar signs, whatever she sees. Ding, ding, ding. She sees dollar signs around you. That's all she values for, values you for. You know? And of course, even if, let's say, a woman does, you know, want you for your money. Again, if you have a bad personality, you're needy. You're, you're overly aggressive, whatever it may be, or she might not like your voice, whatever it may be, then she still won't deal with you. She will let you go. You know, regardless of all the money you throw at her, I mean, some will still take it. Those really insecure women, they will still deal with you, regardless if they do not like you. But all you have is money, they'll take it. <laughs> You'll walk in ATM, you know, those insecure women will take that, you know, but as a self-respecting man, a confident man, a strong man, I hope you would, you would be able to see through that and realize that not only your value, but that they're not interested in you, you know, so <laughs> that's, that's definitely something you don't want to be in. It's, it's a, uh, I can imagine a, a, a very stressful situation. Realize a woman only wants you for your money. So, and then of course, you got your, your status. Looks and money, those are all though, you could do without those. You, you don't need those. But you got the status. Arguably the um, hardest to obtain, I imagine. Because that's really based on what other people uh, belief about you or your social standing, you know, maybe you're a well-known guy in your friend group and your friends, you go out amongst with your friends to a bar or wherever. Yeah. Not right now, obviously, but back in the day, 
you know, before all this, you know, COVID-19 stuff. And, you know, you're interacting with your friends and these, you see these women. And then you and your friends go up, decide to go talk to these women. You know, and things go well. You got a little bit of status. You know, <laughs> and they're all good. And then you get the girl and all that stuff. But what if you see a woman out and about by herself at a grocery store or at work or at the mall? You just, wherever you're at, you're by yourself. What are you going to do? You don't got your boys. You don't got that status with you. You know, how are you going to interact with that lady when you see her? You know, are you too shy because you don't got, you know, that perceived status, that comfort zone? You know, same with guys who are, you know, popular high school. We all know those those hot chicks, those sexy chicks, you know, those fine girls in high school. We see them years later. <laughs> got three kids, divorced, you know. And you know, and when they're in high school, they were they were it. Or you, you were in high school, you were the man, you was you was it. And then, but then you go to college, you lose that status like that. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna feel about yourself when you don't have that status? You know. So, <laughs> I mean, all this is so simple. It really is. You got to realize if you are depending on external things, the looks, money, and status, or your confidence and to feel good about yourself, you are not a confident man. You are a weak man. You cannot ex depend on anything external because those all change. Ex all the external things change. Nothing is set in stone externally. Or people will still not value it as much as you do. And you still won't be able to get what you want because people have to value what you value in order for them to want to connect. You know? But, and then again, maybe they use you for it. Use you for your money. Use you even for your looks because of the appearance. But they know you're insecure, but it looks good for them. Helps with them with their rep and their status. And then they use your status for them like celebrities. Celebrities still get made fun of, or made fun of, yeah. They get um, broken up with, cheated on. And they got stuff, they got all looks, money, status, most of them. So all that stuff, it doesn't matter. It's all about how you feel. You got to feel like you're the man. You got to feel like you. all women in the world want you. You got to feel like, you know, a woman will be crazy not to be seen with you not to, to to deal with you because you're the man you know you gotta realize your value you know obviously I, I always say if women don't realize your value please let them, let them go run this mindset realize there's gonna be other women out here I mean you just gotta understand that you are the man you are the prize don't let this society Make you think, oh, women are the prize. Or Instagram, all that. Let that stuff go. You the man. You can get any woman you want. You just got to believe it. The mind. You got to believe you the man and believe women will be fortunate to have you, have you. They're happy to talk with you. And they'll be obedient and submissive to you. But of course, you got to become that man. You know. But it starts with your mind. Your mind is the most important thing in the dating game. So, that's all I got for y'all, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. And until next time, I'll see y'all soon. Be safe. Y'all have a good one.